on my main channel alone, I manage a lot of videos, a lot. If you talk about unlisted private and public videos just on the main channel, I have almost 3000. Keep in mind, I fairly often manage multiple channels at a time. I'm always looking for new ways to keep track of what I'm doing and better track it to make sure that I don't lose videos. Cause especially when I'm uploading bitrate tests like this, like I can take up multiple pages of uploads in a matter of seconds. And so an unlisted video that I haven't scheduled yet could end up getting lost, buried in the pages of YouTube. And I've actually just never released videos from time to time because they got lost and I forgot about them. Now, the way I've mainly been handling this before is utilizing Google Calendar heavily. I've used this to track uh, my YouTube uploads, which is the green one here, my VidMe uploads, my Twitch uploads, my Facebook direct uploads, and so on. But this is great for keeping track of videos that are already scheduled. For example, my Mod Mike 5 video and these videos that are already scheduled to go up on other platforms. But it's not great for keeping track of videos that I have planned for the future or that I want to upload in the future, but I've not made progress on. And that's because out of sight, out of mind, I'm only ever really looking at one week at a time. So if I go to look, you know, if, I, if I'm working on a video, I don't really see where its scheduled slot is. So I have created an Excel, well, it's not Excel, it's Google Sheets, a Google Sheets automated magic system here that seems to be working pretty well for me. I've used it for this week and so far it's gone pretty well. And so I'm ready to release a template to the public. I will have a blank, blinked out version of this, which will have like the headers. I'll take out equals Vox and then just no videos filled in here that you guys can use. I don't know what happened to that title there. I will need to copy that back. Um, but I believe I have everything polished out to the point that I am okay to release it live. And it took me a little while to get to this point, but I think I am ready to, I will have to spot check some minor things, but as far as what goes on here, I think I'm ready to release it live as an available thing to help you save time with your video projects. So what you see here is a video schedule tracking board. This is very similar to what we used when I worked uh, on my university newspaper. We used this to track all the projects that the team was working on. But when you manage as many videos as I do, it's very useful to track it on, you know, for your own uploads to keep track of what stages the videos are at and just to make sure that they go live. So the way I have it set up at the moment is that you have the title of the video, the category of the video, which I utilize conditional formatting for here. So if I pull the menu back down, uh, format, conditional formatting for unboxings, reviews, tutorials, setup video, meta discussion kind of videos, vlogs, uh, benchmarks, YouTube tips, and sponsored projects. I have it set to automatically color code these. The colors themselves don't represent anything specific. It just kind of separates the video, breaks it up a little bit, and makes it easier to identify that it is a different type of video. Then I have an ad spot because I'm starting to run a lot more affiliate and ad spots on videos. And to help make sure that I do this is I have a spot so that I have to assign an ad to a specific video. And then I have all the different phases that a video typically goes through. Scripting, shooting, editing, uploading, scheduling, and it actually going live, as well as the scheduled date, which will obviously change based on when I actually schedule it up. A spot for a link to metadata if I want to kick it into serious gear and start writing out the metadata ahead of time using a Google Docs file, then I can link that here, and then a final link to the video. The cool part is that the videos will automatically change and move along the line here based on what's going on, thanks to a script that I have set up here. So if I go to script editor, thanks to the script that I have created to move the move the rows automatically between sheets and then the conditional formatting to automatically color code everything. So we're going to set up a test video and I'm going to walk you through how this works. So we're going to make one right here. We're going to call this test video. This is a tutorial. So I'll type in tut and you can change those conditional formatting. The conditional formatting is only on the end progress sheet because this is where you will be primarily inputting videos. So then just go to format conditional formatting and you can change the, uh, conditional formatting for yourself to be whatever you want. So as the tutorial, the ad spot will be uh, Subway. Uh, this is a test, so whatever. All right, scripting is done, or no, yeah, scripting is done, so I'm gonna type in a Y, automatically makes it green, so that you know that that step is complete. Shooting is done, Y. Editing is in progress, so I type IP, that makes it yellow, to show that it's in progress, but not complete, and then nothing else has been done. Scheduled date is uh, April 22nd, 
it automatically formats the date for you, metadata, NA, and then link to the video. A lot of stuff kind of automatically gets done here, but see, as you update the video, why? Turns it green regardless of what it was before, but the cool part is, is I also have multiple tabs down here. So this is the in progress. These are all of my in progress video ideas. This is where the stuff that isn't complete yet is. But once it gets to the upload stage, so that I can track what I've uploaded and not scheduled up better, I have a tab specifically for videos that I have uploaded, but I haven't done the metadata or scheduling for. That's this tab. And then I have a tab for scheduled videos that haven't gone live yet, but are scheduled and you know ready to go. And then I automatically bump them over to the, li to the live tab once they've actually gone public on YouTube. And that's all done automatically. So let's say we've now completed the upload, like I've edited and rendered out the video, so the video is now uploaded. I can hit Y there, automatically moves it over to the uploaded page. Then on the uploaded page, that is when I would go through, do the metadata, and once I schedule it up with TubeBuddy, Y, bam. Gonna move it on over to the scheduled tab. Once it's scheduled up, then I know that it's ready to go live, and just sometime on the day that it goes live, once it's, I know that it's live, I hit Y, bam moves it over and then I don't have to worry about it, but I can keep track of all the videos that I've used with this and I keep track of it at every stage of the way. That way, if I need to reschedule a video or whatever, I can come in here and move things around. Super handy in my opinion. It's already saved me a ton of time even though it took me a couple hours to really get this working and bug tested and all that jazz, but it has worked out greatly and I wanna share it with you guys so that way you can have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this as a blank template, just a blank Google Sheets file that anyone can access to download. And what you can download it, but I don't know, I can't promise that the conditional formatting or the script, uh, the script probably for sure won't, will work in Excel. So I don't necessarily recommend that. But what you can do, say you just opened this from the link in the description down below and you want to use it, you won't have write access because I need it available to everyone. So what you will do is file, make a copy, tell it where to save in your Google Drive, call it, you know, whatever, and hit OK, and then it will automatically open up a copy of your own that you can edit. And of course, the link that I will provide will be auto already blank, so you don't have to delete out my stuff. Uh, but the link will be in the description down below, just a Google Sheets link that you can use to mess with. And I hope this helps you out, and if you find, it, you find yourself using this, or it has helped you, or you make any updates to it, I've tried to update it as much as I can to be as functional as possible. The only additional state or like effects or feature that I can possibly think of to feature in this would have it automatically add to Google Calendar once it's been scheduled. None of the possible solutions that I have found for this will work for me, however, because most of the systems automatically either scan like the entire sheet and add to the calendar and adds duplicate entries, or it requires very specific column formatting, which would re would basically require a rehaul of all of this with a lot of extraneous columns that you don't want to fill out. like. I've yet to find a working solution that can literally just take this date, put it at a specific time, because I always upload at the same time every day, and add an entry to my calendar. I've yet to find a real working solution for that, but that's the only other feature I could think of that needs added. And again, if you want to, you know, try to work on this from yourself, I used Google scripting for the spreadsheet, and you can view the code once you make a copy of your own version of this, as well as conditional formatting for the automatic letter changes and categories. And again, if you if you end up using it or finding it super useful or making any modifications of your own to make it better, please let me know. Please let me know. I am super interested to see what people could do with this, but I wanted to get it to you and share it. So that's enough from me. This video is, of course, sponsored by TubeBuddy. Go to the link in the video description.com to check out the TubeBuddy browser extension, which is something that I use for all of my videos and have saved me a ridiculous amount of time. I use it to schedule all my videos. I use it to automatically publish to Facebook. I use it to get ridiculous, awesome SEO, search engine optimization with my tags. I use it to bulk move things around like cards and annotations and so on. I use it religiously and frankly, I would not be where I am on YouTube without it. So click the affiliate link in the description down below. It gives a small kickback to me, helps me out a lot. I work very closely with this company and I appreciate everything that they do. Uh, Aprilsvox.com slash TubeBuddy if you don't want to click the link for some reason. So hope this was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button, get subscribed, share this to someone else if you think they could use a video planner like this, and I'll see you in the next one.